Once I got over wanting to be a cowboy and a professional baseball player, medicine was the best course for me. We had a fairly small seven bed pediatric intensive care unit at that time. Uh, and I inherited that along with my cardiology responsibilities. He's a master clinician and uh, has uh, really reached the top of one's career as a pediatric cardiologist. I decided it was time in my career to maybe try to do something broader than just my direct patient care, although I was very comfortable with that and, and it, I found it very gratifying. Milestones can frame the story, but they can't tell the story. The stories tell the story. He always has a story to tell. Um, he has uh, a wonderful memory that's rich with details. And, you know, I, I probably remember a hundredth of the stories that he has told me. Um, so the, the, the beauty of that is when he tells me one again, I don't remember it, so it's just fine. I saw him as a patient for like, I think it was about 10 years, and so I was in my 20s, but I was still a patient at Children's, and it was a little awkward because I worked there as well. So anyways, when I went to him, it was at a doctor's appointment, and I said, it's probably time I go see someone else, and you know, he knew I was coming, and he was like, what, you're breaking up with me? <laughs> we would sometimes go into a clinic room together, and he could sense when a child was very apprehensive and didn't want really any examination to take place. He would ask me to bring his juggling balls with me, and he would juggle for the child. And instantly, that child would relax. Actually, a hug would be good. Dr. Gumbiner's story is about lives impacted. Carl's legacy is his patients, and they're living their lives to their full potential. His trainees and colleagues who are professionally living their lives to their full potential. These are very important legacies that, that hard to count, but are really meaningful. He um, impacted not only my life, but I can't imagine how many patients' lives and family members and the staff at Children's. His leadership and guidance is what inspired me to want to become a nurse. Seeing patients grow up, graduate from high school, graduate from college, get married, have children of their own, uh, is sort of the ultimate reward in, in pediatrics and in pediatric cardiology in particular. Credit Dr. Gumbiner as, an, as a mentor to me who really helped me to become the type of pediatrician I've become today because again, the kindness, the caring, the compassion he showed. A story rooted in an unfailing dedication to children. I've always been very comfortable around children. Pediatric cardiology has turned out to be the perfect career for me. Very interesting diseases that I deal with, sometimes very challenging diseases that we deal with, something new every week. Even though he was high up in children's, he was still on the floor being a doctor. In everything that he did as a clinician, clearly lived out our mission as an organization. When he deals with the issues that he has to deal with as the chief medical officer, he has always used his wanting to make things better for the kids as the, the whole reason to have a discussion. Caring, compassionate. Caring and compassionate. I have seen him walk into a room and just sense the fact that a mother just needed to cry. So he would go over and sit next to her and hold her hand and she would cry. And that's all she needed that day. He knows how to relate to people on their level, whether it's a physician or an environmental service person or importantly, a family or a child. When you're going through med school, there's a lot of, lot of stress throughout those four years, a lot of learning that you're doing and you never know in terms of your clinical instructors what you're gonna get. And Dr. Gumbiner, right from the start, always made you feel welcome. And most importantly, he was an incredible teacher who made you comfortable as a student in the learning process as well. I like seeing uh, kind of the lights go on with my students and residents as they're learning 
new things, new techniques. What I found especially gratifying in the last seven years as an administrator is bringing in uh, new young leaders that uh, are leading the way themselves. Um, I think if I have a, a legacy as a chief medical officer, it will be those people that I have been a part of both bringing it into children's and helping them develop their careers and their programs at children's. A pediatric cardiologist first, Dr. Gumbiner's story, Carl's story, has evolved from setting to setting. Illinois, Colorado, South Korea, Texas. Positive change has been a constant, a career marked by steady growth and development. He mentored and nurtured this program. He just, through this whole time, these 33 years that I've known him, he has really been the heart print of children's. We're also growing enormously, and to have his wisdom and guidance to help uh, me understand where the organization came from and how we could work together to make it an even better place for children, and impacting the lives of, of every child every day. Yeah, so he, he has really been a, an important partner in that regard. I think his legacy will be um, leaving the place better than he found it. My hopes for children uh, are to see that vision unfold successfully. Success of the organization, success of the hospital would be realized when all of us going home from the hospital were happy with the day we spent here taking care of the children. A story of dedication and kindness, skill, hope, and good humor. Many times at the end of the day when we were all exhausted, it was after the hours, you would hear him bring his putter out into the hallway of our office, and he would bring a couple cardiologists out of their office, and they would putt in the hallway. And the rest of us would come out and watch but just that short five minutes that they would laugh and they would um, enjoy each other's company and conversation and laugh at who could make the putt, it was priceless for us. A story that is far from complete. My hopes for Dr. Gumbiner in retirement are the obvious ones. Um, I hope he's happy, I hope he's healthy, I hope he hits it straight. I hope he hits it long. It will be interesting to see if he is ever able to really, truly retire and be able to spend time versus will he continue to dabble in medicine and to what degree will he do that. That may be determined by his wife. I'm gonna keep up with pediatric cardiology and I expect to be a regular visitor at our weekly cardiology conference. I may be wearing shorts and flip-flops in fact, I probably will be wearing shorts and flip-flops, but I'll, I'll still be there. I will always regard myself as a pediatric cardiologist, but I'll always be involved with medicine and with the hospital to some extent. Carl made this uh, one of the best institutions in the country just because of who he is and how he interfaced with people and how he helped guide uh, the uh, colleagues and physicians and the nurses. I've come to um, really appreciate Carl for so many of his wonderful qualities. Uh, but now, most of all, he's a trusted friend. He's a very dear friend. He's made such a difference for so many people. I hope in retirement he has no complaints whatsoever. I just want to say, job well done. Thank you. The future of pediatrics, of pediatric specialty care, and of Children's Hospital is a very bright one. To my families, I would like to say thank you for the opportunity to be part of their lives and their children's lives. Uh, it's been an honor.